Hi there, everyone. Welcome to the Lioness Podcast Show. I'm Joshua Eady. We're here with Shannon Ezra today, and we'll basically be giving you insight into Lioness Season 2, behind the scenes, behind the characters, and give you a little bit of insight in what could be coming throughout the rest of the season. Shan, thank you so much for coming into this. You're very good at this, Joshua. Thank you. <laughs> that was so much fun. What was your... Because I remember reading the scripts and seeing how much everything has grown and how much wider the story arcs are getting and how much you know grander the relationships are there's so much more on the line for season two when reading the scripts and doing the prep of playing sam what was your thought process going into this because she develops a lot between season one and season two so what's so interesting is that you said that when you know that every the relationships became very grand you know so you've looked at it on this like this this bigger this like macrocosm right and inside all of this grandeur are all these delicate little nuances that that you have to really kind of um sink into so i didn't i mean the growth that we see from sam from season one i mean season one she's literally just trying to prove to everybody that she didn't do it yeah and she's trying to get her children to believe more than anybody that Mm. she's innocent and that but it's like our timeline is quite finite yes it's quite small whereas in season two we're dealing with past 18 months 13 months 15 months present yeah yeah and so in that 18 month trajectory we see we see some real big developments for sam she Mm. has she has gotten together with Jason, yeah. her, ex, her, her late husband, dead husband's brother, yes. who's always had this crush on her. Yes. And, and, and I remember that to me was very shocking. I was like, why? I don't want this to happen. <laughs> yeah. but, but, the, but the reality is, is that I, I know that that's where Sam had to go there. She needed mm. an anchor. She mm. needed somebody who has been her her constant and Jason Mm. for for all that she knows he's been the constant Mm. so Mm. now that we've got someone like Anton in the end of season the end of episode two saying you need to look at Jason you need to reassess this whole thing that is so ultimately destabilizing for someone like Sam who's who's this is a woman who's basically trying to build her foundations on sea sand yeah yeah. Is the, is the statement, if, if I make the statement of saying season one was Sam trying to prove her innocence, mm. season two is her trying to find a sense of happiness and normality. And it's also um, Sam trying to find the balance between being a good mother mm. and being um, not just not a good mother. I think she is a good mother, but <coughs> I think... I think she gets very carried away trying to protect her children. Mm. She doesn't allow them to live consequence. She'll take it all on. Mm. Because she has to (coughs) constantly decide between do I do the thing that's right for my kids or do I do the thing that's morally, like, ethically right? She'll do anything to protect them. And it's always for the kids. Yeah. Yeah. Which I think is what resonates so well with the audience in terms of that portrayal yeah, mother's love yes mother's love, yes. love knows no bounds and i'm like yeah. eh, eh. sometimes <laughs> maybe sometimes yeah. you just need to let them make the mistakes and pay Which the price they do do they though do they? <laughs> i mean that's a good point season one like between liam and sam season one sam saves the day every single time every single time which is very emasculating for a grown man it is which s- which is interesting because it just leaves so much more psychological debris to play with yeah. within the dynamic yeah. i mean yeah. how i mean you and i can talk for hours before scenes yes to try and unpack and figure out yeah. and um and it's it's so beautiful but mm. but we do see we do see Sam struggling. I mean, we, we, we watched her in episode two saying to Caitlin, um, but I'm, I'm also your mother and I haven't had you for 10 years uh, and it's my turn. Uh, and I, I remember reading that scene thinking, 
what kind of emotionally mature mother would ever say that to their child? To their like child. it wasn't fair to put her in that. And mm. but but the thing is, is that that was that was Sam's truth in that moment. Like she loves her, she misses yeah. her, she she wants to have time with her. Yeah. Um, the season one, she's trying so desperately to make up for lost time. Yeah. And now yeah. in 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 season in season two. It's like they're trying to forge through time, but mm. something keeps sticking. Mm. Mm. You, can't, also, you can't force relationships either. Sam, Sam's supposed flaw, let's say, right? What would you identify as a flaw, firstly? Because I have an idea of, of what it is. Oh, she's far too impulsive. She runs straight into danger. She's as subtle as a gun. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But in her making those mistakes, it provides so much space for someone like Jason to come in and tamper with the outcome totally which i mean and that's why the show is so see. well it's so cleverly written yeah you know it's it's dynamic and and in in that big bridge mm. you've got all these beautiful little things that you can start yeah. moving around and yeah. playing with the it. introduction of another family mm. into season two mm. we reveal at the end of episode one mm -hmm. we bring carl in mm. How did you look into that coming into season two and then play that out into Sam's approach to the family, to her circumstance, to her need for normality? It gets completely thrown on its head because the past still finds its way of haunting Sam. Look, you, secrets will always come out. Yeah. The best thing about telling the truth is that you never have to remember the lie. So for Sam in season two, her biggest thing is, I do not want to deprive another family of their father and their husband. She yeah. has such empathy and such pain and so much trauma from what happened to her. She would never want to see anybody like that again. Yeah. Which I think is, we know that it's coming from a very, very open heart and it's coming from a place of wanting to be as truthful and as transparent as possible, but at the risk of her son. Yes. And she will never do anything to hurt her children. So thank you for watching this far. We hope you've enjoyed episode one and two. Please tune into Mnet every Thursday to watch the next episode of Lioness at Eight. And Shannon, thank you so much for joining us today. Joshua cool. Edie. Josh. Yes. Ooh, uh. yes. <laughs> thank, thank you so much. Thank you.